Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on Code Igniter framework. This is an exciting framework. So we will learn how to set up our environment for using the Code Igniter, and we will create a simple web page and uh, in Code Igniter framework, and we will learn how to run it. Some of you might wondering why well, uh, watched already the video one where I had discussed that no need to set up our environment. Set up our environment is nothing but you don't have to install any software or uh, do any changes in your system files. You need just need to download a single file which is acts as a directory structure or uh, a code or a place where uh, everything is arranged properly for uh, easily to code. So we will see how to do that. So first we will download Code Igniter. Always download the latest stable version. Go to your browser, type in code igniter. This is the code igniter home page. You can download the code igniter here. Click on download. This is the latest version. I will leave the link in the description. So you don't have to visit through Google, you can directly access uh, the download page. As you can see it is lightweight but some of you might wondering it is 2.5 MB because it includes the docs. That is the manual documentation inside it along with the download this complete page for you available as offline. So we will delete that later on file is almost finished downloading now click on show in folder now open this file and this is the folder extract anywhere I every time like to extract in desktop wait for it to get extracted the reason for downloading this code igniter uh, base is because you don't need any files from online every file is available for you offline you can directly code it and execute it offline you don't need any library like uh, for example if you are using uh, jquery which is a uh, javascript uh, library you need internet to access that file if it is present over the internet uh, if you are accessing through any cdns but since this file is available on our PC, we don't require any internet. Close everything. Now, this is the file which we have extracted on the desktop. Rename it. Uh, the reason for renaming it because we don't want a, our every project name to be Code Igniter. Consider as it's our first web page. So, we will name this as Test First Page or uh, first program uh, I will suggest you don't add any space at the rate everything in the URL because uh, whenever you are accessing this through the local host then this is not gonna work so go to local disk C XAMPP folder and uh, paste it in the htdocs folder so this is copying uh, the docs which is available offline along with your code igniter file it contains uh, useful information if you ever get stuck you can directly go to stack overflow to solve the error or you can find some sample programs and helpful contents in this code igniter docs the file is extracted now our file name is first program yeah this is our file to see the direct this is the contents so we will first open and sublime text editor to see the directory you can use any notepad editor but sublime is 
प्रिटी गुड एडिटर navigate to your location and add the first program folder so you can only see that folder yeah this is our directory structure actually this is the user guide which is available offline which contains every document you tutorial and all you just have to delete this file because this is not necessary uh, now we will see the size of our program initially it was 2.5 mb so everything is extracted now now let's see uh, what we have we have already discussed model views and controller where it is and where we should go actually all the controller program should be written inside this controller folder and all the database querying all the things should be written over this inside model and our actual presentation or the html page or a php page which is actually displayed to the user are written inside the views now uh, we will try to run this default program start your xamp control panel start your apache as well as mysql mysql is starting mysql is not necessary but keep it a habit because every time you need mysql if you are working with database connectivity type localhost slash since our uh, folder name is first program enter it as you can see it is a a page get displayed welcome to code igniter the page you are looking for are directly or dynamically generated by code igniter so this first program create a new file because this is a default page we are going to create our own file so go to views folder click on it create a new file save is on the views folder name it as home.html the advantage of using sublime text is because if you type html and press tab uh it has code completion actually as you can see the predefined template is opened automatically uh first program on code igniter you can give any title now in the body we will create an header Great success! Code igniter. Whenever you are designing any web page, initially or learning any language, use uh, positive sentences uh, or positive terms in the programming, which will keep you motivated and uh, learn more of it. save this file and again go to localhost click on it press enter as you can see nothing is changed because we have created our file but in mvc concept or code igniter framework the controller loads the views the views are not directly accessed so we need to call our page this home.html should be loaded by this controller then only it will be visible to the user so go to the controllers folder click on welcome.php this is our controller page initially it is loading welcome underscore message view view is nothing but it is a page this is the page it was actually loading which we are currently seeing over here so now we want our program to load our page so we will type o and click on saving uh, now error error will occur this is important because i am trying to impart you knowledge that do error and learn from that what basically happening is 
when this control when this uh, when you visit this url first program it comes over this comes over into this controller welcome.php we will uh, see the uh, routing part later but just understand it it comes to this welcome.php then it executes this index function this this is the object and it load is a, a core uh, core uh, library and this view is a method which is present in this library so this loads our home page which is inside this views so when you pass view it will search in this views folder so our home.html is present in this views folder so it will search for view and it will find this home.html now we have saved our program and if we run it we are getting error this is because we have created our html page since code igniter is a php framework it whenever we load any views it expect it expects all the pages to be an php page not an html page we can load html page also for php page we don't want to specify the extensions like initially it was welcome.php so we were just writing it as welcome underscore message no extension was is to be specified because it is a php framework it automatically appends that php extension and it was working since now we have created home.html we cannot directly call this because it will be searching for home.php as you can see it is searching for home.php so whenever you are loading an html page in the controller you should use dot html extension because by default code igniter adds php extension so now when you run it as you can see hooray success our first page on code igniter you can see our page has been executed successfully so what we have learned from this tutorial actually first we learned create a page normally page then it code igniter it automatically doesn't loads the page we need to open our controller and we need to load the view that is we have to open our controller and in that pa inside page we have to load our view what this is this means this is an object and load means it is a library and view means it's a method inside this library which searches the views folder which is over here and finds our page and displays to the user so we have created our home.html page which is this then in controller uh, we loaded the page and uh, we have checked for the error whenever you want to load the html page you have to specify the extension since it's a php framework it automatically appoints php if you forget to add an extension i did this error purposely because first time when i when i was learning code igniter i did this error but i was unable to rectify it after doing lot of things searching then i found that this is the error so i am compulsorily doing this error to show you don't do this do this error and keep this in mind whenever you uh, code this in future and then we have completed the page saved everything and uh, viewed that on browser that's it guys this was a simple program uh, as we uh, move on we will see more uh, important stuffs uh, in uh, php code igniter framework i just i just made this video because uh, yeah, everyone wants to know how to uh, write a program and where to write a program and how to execute it because it is not the normal php way you have to load the uh, our uh, presentation or the views which is presented to the user or the end customer using controller so i made this video there are lot of stuffs to learn like libraries helper function and 
form validation helper function and lots of stuffs and database connectivity and more in related to models also so stay tuned for more videos and uh, happy coding thank you guys and if you like the video press thumbs up button and if you like to watch more views uh, more videos on my channel then you can uh, subscribe to my channel i will be soon posting and uh, tutorials on android also so stay tuned to other playlist also thank you guys thank you happy coding